Welcome folks. In this lesson, we will learn the third technique for creating threads and executing tasks using the normal threads API. The third technique is a variation of the first technique, just like the second one was. So I have again made a copy of first technique.java into third technique.java. Before moving further, we need to rename the first task class to third task. Now we are going to change the third task class slightly. Instead of extending the thread class, we will make it implement the runnable interface. As this class no longer extends thread, we do not have access to the threads start method in this class. So we cannot use the this.start statement in the constructor. Instead, we will create a new thread class object and pass the third task instance as the task to it. Lastly, as third task does not extend the thread class now, we cannot capture the thread reference in the main method any longer. Our updates are complete, so let's run this class now. Again, we have similar output as the previous two lessons because we haven't changed the task logic in the run method at all. In the end, there are three differences between the first technique and the third one. Firstly, in the third technique, we have a task definition instead of a thread come task definition. That is, our third task here implements the runnable interface instead of extending the thread class. Secondly, to fulfill our requirement of a thread object, we are creating the thread object in the constructor of the task and providing it the this reference before starting the thread immediately. And thirdly, we can no longer capture the thread reference in the main method. In fact, there is no way here that the caller can capture the thread reference at all. So this third technique is useful in those scenarios where you need fire and forget type of threads. I call these the ballistic threads. You use this technique when you do not want to interact with the threads once they have started. They just keep running in the background doing their jobs silently. An example of a situation where you might use such threads is when you need a mechanism to invalidate your application's cache at regular intervals. You can just execute your cache invalidating task in a ballistic thread. This thread will then continue running in the background and evict the cache at regular intervals without any need for inputs from other parts of the application or the application's human users. This brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you found it interesting.